Red meat and processed meat including beef, sausages and bacon have long been vilified as cancer-causing foods. The World Health Organization has also classified red and processed meat as carcinogenic, but this does not equate to it being as harmful as substances like tobacco. But it's important to critically examine the claims and consider the bigger picture. Many social media vegan influencers will push the narrative that red meat and processed meat increases the risk of cancer and to eliminate it from your diet entirely. On the other hand, carnivore influencers will fight back and tell them to piss off. However, me, I'm just kicking back, savouring the balance of both meats, fruits and plants while watching them go at each other's throats. Why? Because science aims to achieve objective truths from all evidence available and does not care about your personal opinions. Cancer is a complex disease caused by a combination of factors including genetics, lifestyle, nutrition, environment and family history. To isolate red and or processed meat as the root cause is only pushing you further away from the objective truth. You don't. Peng Leng Gwen still. So does red and processed meat actually cause cancer? This umbrella of Center 2 meta-analysis, which is ranked highly in the evidence hierarchy, revealed that high consumption of red meat is associated with an increased risk in overall cancer mortality, whereas consumption of processed meat might increase the overall risk of cancer mortality. This is in agreement with this meta-analysis of 148 published articles, which revealed that total red meat and processed meat consumption was significantly associated with an increased risk of colorectal cancer by 17% and colon cancer by 21%. It's important to understand that 17 or 21% increased risk is not the same as 17 or 21% chance of getting the cancer. This meta-analysis of 25 prospective studies revealed that a high consumption of processed meat might be associated with an increased risk of total and advanced prostate cancer. But there is a weak association when compared with red meat. The key word being high. Of course, if you approach any food group with an all or nothing mindset, it's obviously not going to be good for you in the long term. The dose makes the poison. So should you eliminate red and processed meat? Not really. Instead of an all or nothing mindset, social media vegan influencers will promote a plant-based, no meat approach. On the other hand, carnivore influencers will promote a no plant-based meat approach. The important here is neither the extremes. The key is in between. Bars. That's called balance your belly. This life perspective studies involving over 26,000 participants revealed that the low combination of low fruit and vegetable intake with high processed meat consumption was associated with a higher incidence of all-cause mortality and 15 different types of cancer. When compared to those with a high fruit and vegetable intake with a low processed meat consumption, this meta-analysis of 45 studies which described 109 associations revealed that there was, a, there was a high convincing evidence of the association of red meat and alcohol intake with with colorectal cancer, whereas there was a low association with fiber, calcium and yogurt intake. As you can see, the increased risk of red and processed meat can be negated when there is balance. Don't just solely source your protein from red meat and processed meat, but, but also from other animal and plant sources. This meta-analysis included 13 articles revealed that keeping red meat to a minimum and replacing total red meat consumption with poultry, dairy, eggs, nuts and legumes was associated with a lower risk of coronary heart disease and premature death, were more consistently observed for processed red meats than for unprocessed red meats meats and that's why balance is key.
don't know who needs to hear this, but you can eat all the vitamins you want, eat all the minerals you want, eat all the fruits and veggies you want, exercise all you want, but none of us are coming out this life alive. So if life gives you a bento box, then make a bento box. In it, mate. Fangs wisdom. The more you eat, the better it gets. Yeah? Oh, baby, that's so good. You've gone keto? Oh, keto's a carnival. Oh, you can't eat ramen? What? Insulin? <laughs> well, joke's on you. That means more ramen for us. Chop good. Pang Lang Gwen still. So, we've already established that red and processed meat increases the risk of cancer. But an increased risk is not the same as an increased chance of getting a cancer. However, we've also established that consuming fruits and vegetables reduces the cancer risk from red and processed meats. That's called balance, Yabele. 
because too much of anything is bad, even water. When you do this, you naturally reduce your overall saturated fat intake. This meta-analysis of 19 studies, including over 1.9 million participants, found that the risk of cancer mortality increased by 4%. For every 5% increase in energy intake from fat, Diets higher in saturated fats were associated with a higher mortality from all causes. Cardiovascular disease and cancer. Whereas replacing saturated fats with polyunsaturated fats lower all cause mortality. This is in agreement with this systematic review, which revealed that replacing saturated fats with polyunsaturated fats and fish oil lowers the risk with a 28% reduction in cardiovascular disease per 5% of energy. Consuming fruits, vegetables, and minimal saturated fat are just one of the many variables which reduces the risk of cancer. But do you know another variable which they don't tell you? Exercise. This meta-analysis of 10 studies found that compared with no resistance training, undertaking any amount of resistance training reduces the risk of all-cause mortality by 15%, cardiovascular disease by 19%, and cancer mortality by 14%. And of course, it no doubt reduces body fat percentage, body fat mass and riskful fat in healthy individuals. Because excess body fat, even at a young age, increases the risk of colorectal cancer. This meta-analysis of 15 articles, including over 2.5 million participants, shows that compared with individuals with normal weight, overweight and obese adults had a significantly higher risk of colorectal cancer. This meta-analysis of 35 prospective cult studies with over 923,000 participants concluded that those with a higher percentage of body fat had a higher risk of mortality. As you can see, many variables influence your overall health and mortality, and eliminating red or processed meat does not address the root cause. Instead of obsessing about what to eliminate, which itself is unhealthy anyways, and potentially leads you to developing orthorexia, focus on balancing all areas of your life, not just nutrition. Cancer is a complex disease caused by multiple factors, including genetics, lifestyle, environment, nutrition, and family history. To eliminate red and or processed meat, as the root cause is only pushing you further away from the objective truth. Because at the end of the day, it's called balance your belly.